Um, before we get into it, I thought I'd start by saying that we all really appreciate everything you're doing for Grandpa. He's a fine old gentleman. Yes. And, uh, you know, I, I think I see a, a bit more of that as I get older. When I was younger, he, he seemed so, um, what's the word? Old. Splenetic. Mm. I blame D-Day. <laughs> Seeing your friends cut to ribbons, occupying Berlin, mm. roistering around without much in terms of supervision. There was no therapy or CBT. And I think that's why he was the way that he is. Anyway, I, I know that uh, Grandpa has some fairly robust um, anachronistic... Um, Do you mean the groping? Uh, no. W what? Anachronistic. Is that, does that mean sort of spidery, spider hands? No, I, I meant um, his... Um, well, his um, old-fashioned, um, deplorable uh, attitudes to... Uh... He's a racist, yeah. 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 Mm. Sorry, groping. Go, you look like a spider. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Well, like an octopus, I would say. An octopus? Spider. An octopus. Well, they both have eight hands, which is to say that um, you're both right, uh, not to belittle any... Um... Well, octopi have feet and spiders have legs. Mm. She's right. So, Good point. Thank you very much for gamely batting away any of his epithets mm -hmm. and or hands, legs and feet. Thank you. Hence, a gift. The best the Wild Bean Cafe had to offer. What do you want us to do with that? I thought you could share it. What, it's like half and half? What, like 50-50? <laughs> well, you could open it up and every time you come round to wash or feed him, have a chocolate. Aw, chocolate? A little chocky. Just what I fancy every time I haul your grandpa off the commode. <laughs> well, more for me. <laughs> well, I didn't say I didn't want any. And, and quite honestly, I think I should probably have more than half. Are you joking? Are you joking? It takes me 15 minutes longer than you to get here in the morning. That's because you live out in the bloody rolling hills and crisp air. It's because I take the bus. <sighs> Lady Muck on the bloody bus. I'll just get another box. I put up with over half the racism. What? I'm Irish. He hates the Irish. I've never heard him say one bad word about the Irish. Yeah, he doesn't have to say anything. I can feel his eyes boring into me. Papist, they scream. Papist. Grandpa does hate the Irish. Thank you. Never forgave them for the Brighton bombing. Although he does also hate Brighton. What, he gropes me? Oh, that's because you get too close to him. You lean over him, right into him. That's because I have to watch him. Yeah, well, someone has to operate the crane. I can operate the crane. OK, right. We both know what happens when you operate the crane. That was one time. It was like a claw in a fairground trying to scrabble around for Pokemon teddies. It was harrowing to watch. So I'm just condemned to wipe bottoms for the rest of my life. You're not condemned. Just better with people, darling. You're very holistic. I am. Yeah, you've got the human touch. I do. Yeah, and the crane. That requires real skill. This actually brings me on to what I wanted to talk about today. Um, and I'm not accusing anyone, but I just wanted to get to the bottom of the bruises. The bruises? O on his arm. My mother noticed them when she came round. Yes, I'm sorry about her. Sorry that she made you mow the lawn. <laughs> coffee? Your grandpa doesn't drink coffee. Yes, I knew that. God, let him drink coffee. No, he's not allowed it. Who says he's not allowed it? I said he's not allowed it. You're not a doctor. Well, I moderate Wikipedia. And that so. makes you qualified to pump him full of drugs? Better than all your smells and bells. Homeopathy? It works. Right, citation needed. Okay. Tea? <laughs> Uh, 
Oh dear, <laughs> quite unprofessional. It was a joke. Right, and you could have given old granddad a massive heart attack. When was the last time he made tea? He can't get down the stairs. The uh, bruises? Of course he's got bruises. Of course, if you keep concealing serpents in the tea. This from the woman who refuses to pick him up when he's fallen. You can't touch them, they might get a massive brain injury. It's not like scuba diving. It's not like you're gonna pick him up so quickly he gets the bends. Oh, someone's got the money to go diving. Once, at my brother's wedding. Destination wedding. Are we talking falls or a fall? Meanwhile, she's happy to wait for the ambulance to show up. Oh, it's not my fault they keep bumping him down the priorities list. Seven hours she's sitting there, watching him flopping around on the floor. No, that is not true. It is. No, it's not. I'll never do a seven hour shift. What if he needs the loo? Seven hours? It'd be quicker for me to drive down from London and pick him up. Well, do you want us to call you? Well, I, I have a job. Regardless of what he says about academia. You're what the French call a thinker and the English a waste of space. Sorry, my blood sugar's, um, maybe a biscuit. Granny always used to have a great selection of biscuits. Oh, she was long suffering. Jesus. She was a saint. Is this a joke? German gun. That sort of thing's worth a lot of money to the right people. Who? Historians, hobbyists. I don't think we want their money. You can't sell it. What about its sentimental value? Mm, yes, I think. Grandpa probably took this as a trophy of some Germany murdered. Some poor child forced into the Waffen SS as a sort of prepubescent human shield during the fall of Berlin. Maybe your granddad was right. Maybe you do think too much. No, no, he's right. Out of sight, out of mind. Sell it. No. I'll chuck it in the Thames in a sack with some rocks. Uh-huh. And, uh, where are you going to get this sack from? B&Q. And the rocks? Um... Maybe we should just put it back where we found it. No. We can't do that. It's... Malignant. No, no, you're right. Bin it. Oh, and um, when your granddad does fall again, because he will fall, do you or do you not want us to call you to come and pick him up? Well, I would have thought it would be common sense to pick him up. And what if he dies in my arms? I would be willing to sign some sort of waiver. The man's 95 years old. Let him die pressed to some bosoms. Oh, what a heartwarming thing to hear a carer say about your old pop pop. I'm the one who wipes his bottom. <laughs> He likes me. Both of you terrify him. Me? He thinks you want to kill him. Why would I want to kill him? For the money? <laughs> How would I kill him? You could pay one of us to do it. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. Oh, no, I wouldn't use that. I'd use a pillow. Anyone like to say a few words? In German. Oh, that'd be nice. Hasta la vista, baby. Is that 